You don't wanna learn how to use Desmos, you wanna learn when to use it. In my last video, we went through a lot of algebra practice problems and how we can use Desmos to solve them much quicker. Today, I'm gonna be showing you how to use Desmos for statistic-based questions. My name is Krishna and I'm the founder of Future Admin and we've helped hundreds of students from 22 plus countries earn their dream scores. So we're gonna go through two main use cases for Desmos when it comes to statistic-based questions. First is when we're talking about the mean, median, or mode, and the second is the line of best fit. So let's start with data-based questions. So let's say we wanted to find the mean, median, or standard deviation of this data set. Data set A has the following points, 13, 8, 32, 41, 9, 12, 15, 19, and 22. To find the mean, we can actually use Desmos by just typing in mean, and then in parentheses, insert the entire data set. And then if you click enter, you're gonna see that it spits out that the mean is 19. Same concept applies for finding the median. We can just type in median, and then in parentheses, we're gonna insert the data set. As as you can see, it spits out the number 15. Lastly, we can also use Desmos to find the standard deviation of a data set. So all we're gonna type in is STDEV, and then in parentheses, put in the data set. So as you can see, it says that the standard deviation is about 11. There are also other functions you can use within Desmos. If you click on the keyboard and go to the top right and then click functions, you're gonna be able to see a list of all the functions. Now with line of best fit questions, we actually have a few use cases for using Desmos. So this question says the scatter plot represents the height X in inches and the weight Y in kilograms of six different puppies in a shelter. A line of best fit for the data is also shown, which of the following could be the equation of the line of best fit. So we're trying to find the equation of the line of best fit. The quickest way to do this, to be completely honest with you, is understanding y equals mx plus b, understanding that, you know, is my y-intercept positive or negative, using the process of elimination and all that good stuff. But I'm going to show you how you can also confirm that your answer choice is correct by using Desmos. So what we can do is, since we're given the graph of the line, we can simply just plug in all the answer choices into Desmos and see which one correctly mimics the equation of the line. So if we plug in y equals 3x minus 1, y equals negative 2x minus 1, y equals negative 3x minus 1, and y is equal to 2x plus 1, we can see that y equals negative 3x minus 1 is incorrect, y equals negative 2x minus 1 is also incorrect. So now we're between y equals 3x minus 1 and y equals 2x plus 1. And if we compare the lines and the y-intercepts, we can clearly see that y equals 2x plus 1 is the correct answer here. In terms of statistic-based questions, I like using Desmos better than a graphing calculator because sometimes it can be hard with all the buttons on the graphing calculator to figure out which one's the mean, median, standard deviation, and it can be a lot to remember. So if you're starting your SAT prep journey or you feel stuck at your current score, Make sure you go watch the masterclass linked down below in the description, which is also gonna come with a free guide. This is gonna walk you through mistakes to avoid, the best way to start SAT prep, and the three-step process that we use here at Future Admit to get our students results like this.